The Boston Celtics team has nothing but athleticism across the board. <laughs> The Celtics have the best team in basketball. I can't remember the last time we've seen a defensive team like the Boston Celtics. I'm telling y'all, man, this Boston Celtics team is real. Coach E made you joker. Hold these guys accountable. But we're going to see it all come to fruition. Game four of the NBA Finals. Uh, big Warriors fan over here. Yeah, I'm, I, look, I'm just telling he you. He hasn't speaking, mentioned the Warriors unless it's a specific question about the Warriors, and then he's going to reference back to the Boston Celtics. <laughs> no, I, look, I keep telling you, I'm the most unbiased guy on this panel, okay? Whoa, I, easy. Like, I will criticize. I'm the same. Tech. Hold on, time out. Let him lie on, like uh, that, No, Tech? I'm not lying. I'm the same guy. I said that, easy. I'm the same guy that when they were like three games under 500, I was talking about splitting up the Jays. I just give credit where credit is due. And anybody with any type of common basketball sense yeah. could tell that the Boston Celtics uh -huh. are the better basketball team. Okay. 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 Like, I'm not, I'm not even I, – I think I said earlier, like, they, they are the most solid team. Yeah. The Warriors have the, the huge strengths and the huge weaknesses. Um, speaking of a guy that has some medium strengths and huge weaknesses, um, Richard. What? You have some experience <laughs> coming back from down 3-1. Uh, if the Warriors lose tonight, can they do it? Yeah, yeah, but they're going to need some help. No different than we got some help with Draymond getting suspended in that game, uh, in that game five. But you know, currently the way it's constructed with you know the Warriors and the Celtics, it will be very difficult given the amount of firepower that the Warriors have. It, it just wouldn't be enough to just punch the Celtics for three straight games. So this game four, and that's why we've been talking about game four. Yeah. This is a huge game four, the difference between making it a series and pretty much being over. Do you think, Zach, that it would be too much to overcome a loss tonight for the Golden State Warriors? Look, the reason sports are fun is because unpredictable things happen. But to me, this is a must win for the Warriors, yeah. even with five and seven at hand at home in hand. I just don't see this Celtics team with this defense losing three in a row. There will be a game where they shut off your water and they don't even have to play a great offensive game in that case. And they'll snatch a win somehow. I just again, I could be wrong. Sports are wild, but I just can't see them losing three straight. Uh, I gave you all the answer before you gave up the, the tee up. Malik, look. <laughs> Here's the thing. When you look at a team that could hold a team to 16 points in the fourth quarter in game one, 11 points in the fourth quarter in game three, you're looking and witnessing something special. And that's the Boston Celtics. I'm telling you, they hang their hats on the defensive end. And if they lose this game tonight, they're not. Look, the, the Boston Celtics, <laughs> he made you Doka, is not letting up. Okay, I'll tell you that straight up. I was Did you get fitted for your ring yet? Who? From the Celtics? Did you get fitted I, for I, your ring? You know what? That's their moment, bro. That's okay, their moment. I don't want a ring. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.